Vincent Van Gogh, 1853 to 1890. Quotes from letters to his brother, Theo. I dream my painting and I paint my dream. We are surrounded by poetry on all sides. A great fire burns within me, but no one stops to warm themselves at it. Passersby see only a wisp of smoke from the chimney and continue on their way. If you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. Great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. And then I have nature and art and poetry, and if that is not enough, what is enough? I am always doing what I cannot do, yet in order to learn how to do it. If one truly loves nature, one finds beauty everywhere. It is good to love many things, for therein lies the true strength, and whosoever loves much, performs much, and can accomplish much, and what is done in love is well done. I put my heart and my soul into my work, and I have lost my mind in the process. I try more and more to be myself, caring relatively little whether people approve or disapprove. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? The fishermen know that the sea is dangerous and the storm terrible, but they have never found these dangers sufficient reason for remaining ashore. I now consider myself to be at the beginning of the beginning of making something serious. There is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. Art is to console those who are broken by life. For wheat is wheat, even if people think it is a grass in the beginning. An artist needn't be a clergyman or a church warden, but he must have a warm heart for his fellow men. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. I always think that the best way to know God is to love many things. I am always doing what I cannot do yet in order to learn how to do it. Many painters are afraid of the blank canvas, but the blank canvas is afraid of the painter who dares and who has broken the spell of you can't once and for all. I don't know if you'll understand that one can speak poetry just by arranging colors well, just as one can find comforting things in music. I want to touch people with my art. I want them to say, he feels deeply, he feels tenderly. Exaggerate the essential, leave the obvious vague. Seek only light and freedom and do not immerse yourself too deeply in the worldly mire. One may have a blazing hearth in one's soul and yet no one ever comes to sit by it. I don't know anything with certainty, but seeing the stars makes me dream. When I have a terrible need of, shall I say the word, religion, 
then I go out and paint the stars. It often seems to me that the night is much more alive and richly colored than the day. I don't know anything with certainty, but seeing the stars makes me dream. Normality is a paved road. It is comfortable to walk on, but no flowers grow on it. Be clearly aware of the stars and infinity on high, then life seems almost enchanted after all. It is a pity that as one gradually gains experience, one loses one's youth. But for one's health, as you say, it is very necessary to work in the garden and see the flowers growing. Both she and I have grief enough and trouble enough, but as for regrets, neither of us have any. Your profession is not what brings home your weekly paycheck. Your profession is what you're put here on earth to do, with such passion and such intensity that it becomes spiritual in calling. The more ugly, old, nasty, ill, and poor I become, the more I want to get my own back by producing vibrant, well-arranged, radiant color. The only time I feel alive is when I am painting. I plow on my canvas as they do in their fields. What color is in a picture, enthusiasm is in life. Success is sometimes the outcome of a whole string of failures. How rich art is. If one can only remember what one has seen, one is never empty of thoughts or truly lonely, never alone. It is looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you a deeper meaning. The lamps are burning and the starry sky is over it all. I cannot, suffering as I am, do without something which is greater than I, which is my life the power to create. There is peace even in the storm. I experience a period of frightening clarity in those moments when nature is so beautiful. I am no longer sure of myself, and the paintings appear as in a dream. It often seems to be that the night is much more alive and richly colored than the day. Let's not forget that the little emotions are the greatest captains of our lives, and we obey them without realizing it. How rich art is, if one can only remember what one has seen. As we advance in life, it becomes more and more difficult, but in fighting the difficulties, the innermost strength of the heart is developed. I am not an adventurer by choice, but by fate. If I am worth anything later, I am worth something now. I cannot change the fact that my paintings don't sell, but the time will come when people will recognize that they are worth more than the value of the paints used in the picture. I would rather die of passion than of boredom. It must be good to die in the knowledge that one has done some truthful work and to know that, as a result, one will live on in the memory of at least a few and leave a good example for those who come after.